all right guys welcome back to the channel today guys i'm gonna be showing you the best xm4 build here in black ops cold war after its buff now it's really nice you'll see in today's gameplay we go absolutely crazy with this so if you are new to the channel you love the best class ups and the craziest gameplays make sure you hit that subscribe button and with that bell so you guys don't miss any brand new videos let's get 350 likes for the buffed xm4 here and let's get straight in today's video all right let's hit that reload button don't go crazy I mean, this game's starting to feel like it's full game out now, but I mean, imagine being a content creator for it, my man. No. Hard point lost. Designating straight front target. War machine going hot. This isn't working. We're behind. Hard point locked down. go what I hit that pre-fire oh uh, full-time streamer I would prefer Not, not as a nice little spot there. Alright, there we go. 26. Uh, they might, my spawn flip might have just happened. No, oh, there's a guy right there. If I just play the waiting game. Alright, we got one nuke. Perfect. We're just gonna keep this streak going, let me see. I really just wanna see how big of a kill streak can go on here. I mean, although they are AFK just a tad bit, but I mean, I'll still, uh, you know. Is he gonna hit glitch that? Why are what? Okay, I mean, whatever floats your boat, you know. Yeah, what's up, Austin? How you doing, bro? We're fifty-seven and one right now.
enemy throwing some enemy I got kicked for an activity. I don't think there's anybody else back here. Nope. Would you prefer a full-time creator or streamer? Ah, uh, streamer. Streamer, I said. I already said that. I mean, I'm I'm technically a full-time creator as it is, and that was okay. All right, I like domination way better than hardpoint. Uh, I guarantee she could probably get a nuke. I'm weak. Moving with war machine. Yeah, we're, this is a good game right here. Uh, the new shotgun comes actually out today, so we're actually going to be making a video on that today. No, uh, dang it, dude. So close to the nuke as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. We're actually going to be covering the marshals today. And the thumper. I have flak jacket on and I'm still... What? And then we got this guy just running through acting like he's good. Is it from the other CODs? It's from BO3. One bullet and he would have been fine, man. Where am I from? I'm from BA. I mean, there's a new, there's a competitive top thing coming out today, so I mean, you can go watch that, so I mean. Yo, what's up, uh, Brady? Oh, he's on the bottom.
I'm weak. 26. All right, perfect. 77 kills in the first round. We are going crazy fast. Like, I mean... All right, 27, 28, and we died. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of crazy. Um, that uh, it, 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 this year just went by fast. Uh, the reason why people it's just not there's just not too much content going on in this game They they fumbled really bad with this This game could have been really good The beauty of playing a free game though rival I can't believe I choked, uh, uh... I- that was literally such a free nuke. What? What do I- I really think they went wrong with Cold War is, um, the lack of content. Because with me, you know, I'm not just saying it because I'm a content creator. But, you know, the more- the more you play the game, you want to be rewarded. I feel like playing the game is just not as rewarding as... Well, I just don't think it's really rewarding. This is where the game really messed up. And then the content. There could have been so much content with, like, new seasons. The And, you know, the, the skill-based matchmaking is pretty strong in this game. The score streaks, but, I mean... You know, regardless with the score streaks, you know, you know, it, it, it's, that's not as bad. The score streaks are, the score streaks is not that bad. You know, with pubs, you know, you should be able to just play. That's, and that's my opinion when it comes to pubs, you know, you should just Pubs is public games, you know, you shouldn't have to sweat in a public lobby. If I want to go sweat, I'm going to go play League Play. That's just, just how... That's just how it is, you know? But definitely when it comes into this next game, like, oh, I'm probably dead here. I don't under, okay, never mind. That's, that's another thing they got to fix. Team balancing, uh, team balancing is not the best either. I need at least- I want to get at least 130. Hey, the duels are still crazy. I don't think I'm gonna get the 130. No, we got 128. Dang, man. All right, so as you guys saw, today's class setup was absolutely nuts. This XM4 is super nice after they buffed it. And I don't know what Traker was thinking about this, but they did crazy with this thing. So with this class setup, as you see here, we have the dual marshals. We have Stim Shot, C4, Field Mike with Flat Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja with Tack Mask, Quartermaster, and Spycraft with, of course, the Pert Greed Wild Card. Now, the main thing you guys are going to be looking at here is the attachments, which, you know, the XM4 is, you know, just one of the most broken assault rifles in Black Ops Cold War without a doubt.
All right, so now we're gonna be giving you the class setup, which is super nice. Now, with the first attachment you're gonna to wanna to add on is the Microflex LED. Now, I say this in a lot of my videos, I just feel more comfortable using this site. It just, I like, I mean, I like the site, the iron sites, I like, you know, I could use Quick Dot, Cobra, anything besides just you know these other ones like the royal cross or stuff that's not gonna make me feel comfortable but the microflex i just feel like i perform 20 times better using it and that's why we're going to be using it for our first attachment here now for our second attachment we're going to be throwing on the infantry compensator now this is going to help with 15 percent more vertical recoil control now if you guys didn't know they just buffed this attachment at the beginning of season five which makes the xm4 really good you don't have to add any under barrel you're not going to have to worry about recoil control this this is going to help with a lot of you know having your shots more you know controllable your shots are going to be super accurate and as well it's going to help you get a lot more kills because one your shots are going to be more accurate and they're going to be on super on point so your shots are going to be hitting its targets so the infantry compensator by far is the best muzzle you can throw on for the xm4 now now for the barrel, we are going to be adding on the Reinforced Heavy. Now, this is going to help with 100% more effective damage at range and 40% more bullet velocity. Now, I like to use this a lot because we are getting uh, stronger bullets at a longer distance. So, we can take our gunfights to a extremely long distance. If you can control the weapon good, hit all your shots, you're going to be the most dominant player, without a doubt, in Cold War just because... The damage on the XM4 at a longer distance is good. Adding this on is going to make it 20 times better. And that's why I like using it. And plus, we're getting that bullet velocity. So our bullets are going to be traveling faster in air to hit our targets faster, which makes the XM4 just 20 times better using this attachment. Now, for the next attachment, we're going to go down all the way down to the magazine and add on the new 45 round fast mag. We are getting a magazine increase of 15, so we are getting 45 rounds per magazine. We are getting a 35% more reload quickness, so you are going to be reloading faster now, which is very helpful. And plus, you're going to be starting out with more ammo at the beginning of the game, as well holding more ammo throughout the game, helping you have, you know, going crazy your gun streaks, not have to worry about picking up a different weapon or switching to your secondary as much, so that's very helpful. And then finally, Finally, guys for our final attachment we're going to be adding on the airborne elastic wrap for that 30 percent more aim down sight speed that 90 percent more flinch resistance and is where you're going to be able to drop shot when aiming down sight now guys today i got my gameplay off twitch so you want to go check me out it's going to be in the description or the pin comment under this video we're closing it on 30,000 followers if you guys can help me let's see if we can get there before season six or vanguard but anyways guys it's going to wrap it up for me thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i'll see y'all later peace